good morning. We've already been out and about. We've shown a house this morning. Now we're at Target gonna get Hattie something for her birthday. And it's a pretty day so far. Doing self-checkout. This is for Hattie's birthday present. We got her the we got her a gift bag and we got her um, the Legos Toy Story Legos. Hope she likes it. Now we're at my happy place. We're at Starbucks. There is a Starbucks inside the Target, but we're coming to this one because we have we have like 30 minutes, so we have to go across the street to the mall to where the birthday party is. So I thought we'd just sit down here, kind of chill out, and just chat with my hubby, who's in the bathroom right now. But when he gets out, we'll chat. I got a hot chocolate, a venti hot chocolate with whole milk, and he got a double bacon smoked gouda. He got something to eat. Because if he doesn't eat like every so hours, he gets kind of shaky. So. <sighs> they just call my name. So we're at Peter Piper Pizza at Towny Small. Just a place with a lot of games. Kind of like Chuck and Cheese. But it's not Chuck and Cheese. It's just different. stopped at Old Navy and I said hey hon do you, you gotta go to the bathroom and he said no so I was like okay so I thought to myself I'll just wait and now we're going home and he's like not going home and I have to go to the bathroom yeah, car wash. okay but we're talking about me having to go to the bathroom so then um, oh there's a line for the car wash too mm -hmm. um, so then I say to him because y'all know I have bathroom issues like I have to go in a, like my bathrooms have to be, you know. And he goes, well, it's a manly bathroom. So great, great. Because by the way, Whataburger bathroom over here on Kearney, is it Kearney? Mm -hmm. Gall mm -mm. Bathrooms are not that good. So I'm hoping for a better experience here at Elliot's. What are we getting there, by the way? Some uh, wood putty. Wood putty, here we come. What about plants from my front yard stuff? Well, you could have gone to Lowe's for that. Okay. Sorry. Not good. Okay, the first indication that it was not going to be a good experience is the fact that it's women and men combined so inside there's a urinal that was not flushed in a while and a toilet that was not flushed in a while so I made it I had to go but oh my gosh never again welcome to another episode of Lisa's trying a meal thing meal kit thing from every plate so Go ahead and show you what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like this. It's the smothered and stuffed meat loaves. So this calls for Yukon Gold. Oh, let me show you. Some Yukon Gold potatoes, onion, um, bell pepper, some oil, some butter, these seasoning mix, pepper jack cheese, piece of bread, and the beef. I was gonna like not film the part where I'm showing the beef and then I'm gonna go, where's the beef? And then we would all laugh and laugh and laugh. And then only a few of y'all would get it. If you're like close to my age, I'm trying to think what, what age frame that stopped like being relevant to anybody, like anybody would get it. But anyway, this says that it is a five minute meal prep, 35 minute it's ready in 35 minutes. I'm not feeling super helpful, but I have to first set the oven to preheat the oven to 425 degrees, which I've already started that. Wash and dry all produce, which I've already done that. I'm about to cut the potatoes into half inch thick wedges. Core, de-seed, and thinly sliced bell pepper. 
half peel and thinly slice onion. And then I'm gonna toss the potatoes on a baking sheet with a drizzle of oil, which I'm horrible at drizzling, but anyway. One teaspoon of the fry seasoning, and we'll use the rest later, it says. Oh, joy. And then salt and pepper, which we were just talking at the birthday party today. You know, I'm not just, I just don't necessarily salt and pepper stuff. But if the recipe calls for it, I do try to, but just not a super salt and peppery kind of person. So anyway, I'll salt and pepper today. Roast on top rack until browned and crispy about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, meanwhile, in a large bowl, soak bread with two tablespoons of water. Break up with your hands until pasty. Add beef, remaining fry seasoning, and a pinch of salt and pepper. Mix to combine. See that? I mean, place on baking sheet. So when you're done putting in, you're supposed to break up with your hands until pasty. Add beef, remaining fry seasoning, and a pinch of salt and pepper. Mix to combine, flatten to two half inch thick rounds. Reserving half the cheese for topping, divide remaining cheese between the center of each round. Fold edges of meat around cheese, sealing to create two one inch tall loaves. Like, okay. Place on baking sheet and bake in middle rack for 20 minutes. We'll glaze the meatloaves then. We will, oh, joy. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I guess while that 20 minutes is happening, but then that 30 minutes is still happening, we're going to drizzle, heat a drizzle of oil in a large pan over medium heat, add bell pepper and onion, and cook, stirring occasionally until browned and tender seven to eight minutes. Add two tablespoons of water and cook, stirring until evaporated and veggies are tender. Season with salt and pepper. Again with the salt and pepper. Oh. And stir in one tablespoon of butter until melted. Turn off heat, cover to keep warm. Meanwhile, I mean they keep having these meanwhiles. In a small bowl, I mean like all these meanwhiles are concurrent. I don't know. In a small bowl, combine three tablespoons of ketchup, dissolved mustard, and two tablespoons of brown sugar. And once meatloaves have baked 20 minutes, remove from oven, brush tops with ketchup glaze, then evenly sprinkle with remaining cheese, and bake until cheese has melted. Oh, then you top the meatloaf, when you serve it, you top the meatloaf with that stuff that we drizzled, with the drizzled oil in the fried pan, I don't know. Y'all, I really have a feeling this is gonna take longer than 40, I mean, it says 35 minutes till it's ready and five minute prep. So just say on the, on the good side, 40 minutes. 40 minutes from now would be 6.10. It's 5.31, 6.11 if you're gonna be exact. So I'm gonna get to crack a lacking. Let's see how quickly I can get done. And I'll be honest with the time, okay? I will be honest with the time. But a lot of meanwhile stuff happening that meanwhile, I think I'm gonna mess it up, but gonna think positive, gonna think positive. All right, y'all, Marvin is asleep, so I'm gonna have to see if these are half-inch wedges. Yeah, he's close enough. We have already had our first issue because this is a teaspoon, not a tablespoon. So now I have to Google how many teaspoons in a tablespoon. And I'm sorry to my homework, I apologize to my homework teachers. Miss Underwood and I think the other one was Miss Potter or something. That doesn't sound right. Eighth grade. Anyway, whatever. Sorry, I don't remember your name as well. But I don't remember how many teaspoons in a tablespoon. Okay, I've cut up the onion and the bell pepper. But next issue. This is, this fry seasoning's not powdery. So I probably should have like done something to make sure it was powdery. I'll fix it. I'll fix it now. <laughs> Oh, and it's been more than five minutes prep. Thank you very much. Okay, I've made the loaves. I'll show you. That is the potatoes cooking up top there. This is the loaves down here. It did say, well, we're just gonna hope for the best. <laughs> no, I think I did everything right, but it said that the, that's only gonna take about 20 minutes to cook. I feel like it's gonna take longer, but whatever. I've got the oil heated up. I'm about to add the onion and the bell pepper and gonna stir that up it's gonna be tasty i need brown sugar so here's my amazing rubbermaid brilliance containers i love them 
and that's what I store my brown sugar in. What? They're so cute. They're so pretty. They're so sleek. I love them. We are in the home stretch now. I've got the cheese baking on top. Looks like most of it fell off, but that's okay. And I've got the um, potatoes are done. The smother onions, bell pepper situation, that's done. Just gotta wait to top it on here. Got about four minutes left. And that only took me an hour and 15 minutes. So, um, maybe an hour and 10 because I started about five minutes after I stopped filming. So 5.35 to 6.35, hour and 10 minutes. Okay, let's just say. And we'll call it Gucci. But so far it looks like it's turning out. I hope it's turning out, but we shall see. All right, dinner's ready. So let me show you what it looks like. There's Marvin's because he likes onions on top. Here's mine, I don't like onions on top. Hey! So it's, it's almost 11 o'clock and somebody just played Words With Friends with me. If you're not following me on Words With Friends, I'm Our Gray House. <laughs> Original name I know, but I'm taking that branding to the next level. So, um, we're almost ready for bed, but I am planning out the Wing Moms post for the next week and I'll finish it up tomorrow or Monday, whatever. But I'll finish it up for the week. I try to do them week at a, a time, but I also like schedule them out like this week, but I schedule out a month from that and then a month from that. So like I have, by the time I'm all done, I have like two months worth of postings. So I don't have to worry about the postings as much as worrying about like just some day-to-day -day tasks and things like that. And it kind of frees me up to do things like edit videos and things like that. So this weekend, I really had planned to get all of my stuff organized. I still have that plan. I still have two full days to do that. And I know I can do it. I've just got to focus and not get distracted. But dinner was okay. It was meatloaf. It wasn't really like, wow, that was so much better than any other meatloaf I've ever had. So I wouldn't, it was fine, but I, I wouldn't order it again because I can make that at home. I mean, like I could make, I already knew how to make that. The soy glazed chicken one, that was different. I didn't really know how to make that one. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'd recommend that particular one, but it didn't, wasn't bad. Just um, tomorrow, I'm gonna try to make uh, the um, creamy chicken bake or something it's called, I think. So I'm gonna pull the chicken out of the freezer. We also have leftover soup from Fish City Grill from the other night. Okay, so I'm scratching my cat and there's like hair everywhere. <laughs> and I'm allergic to cats, imagine that. But um, anyways, I hope you guys had an awesome day. It is Memorial Day weekend, tons of people are cooking out, going to the lake, getting their relaxation on, and that sounds like fun, but I've got stuff to do, I've gotta get organized. Oh, the cat hair is real, y'all. Um, we used to have a long-haired cat, and that was even worse. But I love cats. And I was just looking because they had a smoked tabby on the animal um, rescue that I get my cats from. I say get my cats because I've gotten two from them. Anyway, they had a smoked tabby. I like smoked tabbies. Remember Wolf was a smoked tabby? It's a really pretty color cat. And Socks, I'm pointing to Socks right now. Socks has same kind of coloring, but he's, a, he's more, more noticeable marking is the tuxedo marking. And Captain is just a gray tabby. I don't know that Marvin would let me have a third cat. I think we're good with two, right? We're good with two. Plus, I'm still trying to train them to quit scratching. It's a little one that's scratching, but anyway. All right, so I'm gonna get back to posting and I am gonna go to church tomorrow. And other than that, oh, I need to go. So, you know on your birthday you get free stuff? Well, you get 50% off at Kendra Scott. You get a free nothing but bunt buntlet or whatever they're called. But yeah, buntlet. And I get free tacos from Taco Cabana and I get other, oh, $5 from Charming Charlie's. So I have several like things I could get for free or like really discounted. So, um, good grave, excuse me y'all. 
So I might do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll do that Monday and focus on getting this stuff done. And then on Monday, which is my actual birthday, I can go get all my stuff. Won't that be fun? I think so. Things are gonna be closed on Monday. Y'all take the day off, okay? Take the day off for me. But seriously, like the banks are closed and stuff like that, um, which happens around my birthday usually. Fun fact, I graduated on my birthday when I graduated from high school. I did, I turned 18 and graduated from high school, so big day for me. Um, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you have a great night. Don't forget to be kind to others, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.